All right, folks, welcome back. It is Tuesday, October 8th, 2024. Just got back. I'm going to put in some time during the week on this car. Drive shaft. I picked the drive shaft up. Shout out to Rocker Pat with the referral. What, four years ago? CT drive shaft on Griggs in Southeast Houston. Um, so originally I had this drive shaft made somewhere else locally. We gave them the measurements, uh, and I thought we were pretty thorough with the measurements. Um, of course, from the transmission seal to the first bolt hole of the carrier bearing, we actually measured it inside the frame tunnel. Bobby did that. Um, and then from there to the yoke of the rear end, and uh, that's the measurements we gave them. And I got back a drive shaft that was a tad too long. Um, I have some pictures I'll attach. Not only that, but the U-joint was wrong, so I had to take it back to said place so they could swap out the rear U-joint. And when we installed it, when I installed it, like I said, I have a picture. This was rubbing the dust boot on the tail shaft of the transmission, which is no bueno. And I also had to elongate the frame holes where the uh, carrier bearing bolts to because it was too long. So pushing the whole thing back shortened up the play on the slip yoke. So the problem with that was at ride at normal ride height, which is what it's been. I haven't taken this thing out on the highway yet, up and down the street a little bit. Um, it's fine. It was probably about like that. As soon as you go pick the car up on the lift and let the rear end hang, it's jamming in. And that is going to turn into putting pressure on this carrier bearing and it's going to shred it. If the car with the hydraulics in the back goes up any higher than stock ride height, it's going to shred that solid bearing. It's a solid billet aluminum carrier bearing that's painted black. So I had them take an inch out the front off of here and also an inch out the back off of here. So the whole thing should be two inches shorter, which should solve my problems. Um, I'm hoping we want it at ride height, maybe about like that. I mean, we have plenty of extension even to drop down low, but at right height, you know, about like that, that way when you lock it up, you got plenty of space. So running solo here, I'm going to warm myself under there and, and get this thing installed. Um, with the slip, it shouldn't be that hard. Usually without the slip, it's when it gets kind of tricky. Anyways, we, we took this thing out on Saturday night. I took it yesterday afternoon at around three and they called me at three today so it was done so it's 250 dollars in labor to shorten it i don't know if that's good or bad i didn't think it was that bad um i'm not seeing any weights on it i don't know if that's good or bad there's no weights on it at all maybe it doesn't need it but uh it comes with a 90 day warranty so if it gives any problems vibrating i'll take it right on back so anyways, let me get this thing up a little bit. I really hate being under the car on the lift by myself here, but it shouldn't take long. Let me get you guys set up and we'll get this done. Oh, 
Alright. So we've got good clearance on the front so far. We're just gonna jam this up in here hopefully without incident. Get this thing put together and get out from under here. The higher the back of your car goes, the more the the more the drive shaft shortens. When he's down, it's extended. So I'm not a big fan of big lockups in the back. I just want to be able to clean clean my rims and tires. And that's it with these skirts on. I don't even care about high lockups. I just want to be able to clean the clean the wheels and tires without putting anything in a bind. Ratchet wrench would be nice. All right, so here we are. This is pretty much. The highest they can go in the back. Get my light here. You can see the yoke, I mean the slip yoke has about a quarter inch, so it could probably go a tad higher. The bolts are in the center, which is good. And we have a little bit showing from the dust boot to the spline or to the uh, yoke. So let me get out of here before this thing falls on me and show you how high the lockup is, which brake line is is okay so that's how high the back is gonna lock up bef before it starts putting pressure on the carrier bearing which is enough for me you can clean the wheels clean the white walls and you got to worry about nothing so let me get this thing down back on the ground and uh, show you guys how low it lays Like I said, that's pretty much how it's going to lay out. Right now it's sitting on the lift arms, so it'll go probably another half inch down. I want to get it just a little bit more, and that's going to help with the adjustment of the slip yoke. So anyways, I think it's a pretty good, good for now. Uh, my only concern is vibration with no weights, but maybe it didn't need weights. I don't know. I'm not a drive shaft expert, but it's in. It's a lot easier, obviously, when you have a lift, but when you have the slip yoke drive shaft because you can push it all the way forward and then pull the yoke back to the to the rear end pumpkin didn't leak a whole lot of transmission that's a wrap that's a wrap next up on this car is going to be to uh run the hoses i ordered them they should be here on friday run the hoses to the setup and see what we got you guys stay tuned thanks for watching